Glenn, how's it going, buddy? Good morning. Ed, good morning. How's it going, bud? We're doing it old school this morning. We're painting these eyes on. This is something... Everybody can do. It's simple. It's a little tedious, but I think it's cool looking. Paint's cheap. Yeah, me too. I need to start doing some YouTube videos, regular videos, and then doing the lives also at the same time. Hopefully, I can get back on the lake um, Sunday. And we're going to start playing with videos out on the lake too. And if you're on right now or just now coming on, if you don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. We're gonna get all the all the red parts painted and then we'll go back later on and we'll put the little silver drop inside each one. I might have some some kind of ready for that, but I got some black heads uh, down here that I'm going to uh, put silver eyes on before I go back to these. I probably won't touch these again until tomorrow morning. I got a hold of those nail brushes too. Very good for eyes of all sizes. I'm not sure where my sidekick's at this morning. She might be taking a break. I might have wore her out yesterday. Got a hold of those nail brushes too. Very good. They work. And I'm pretty sure if you experiment around with pencil erasers and stuff like that, there's other tools you could do this with. This just happens to be the first one that I got, and I like it. I'm happy with it. Glenn, you just, you name it, and so long as the weather's working out and I ain't got to work, uh, we'll get hooked up and we'll go out there and the white bass should be biting pretty good. I know y'all were interested in getting a hold of some white bass. Uh, they've been mixed in with the schools of crappie out on the main lake channel. Windy points and all that. I mean, they were, they've been pretty easy to catch. I think that last time I was out, I had just as many white bass as I did crappie. And when you start catching white bass on 12 foot outlaw rods, man, it's it's uh it takes it to a whole nother level of fun. I know that. Takes it to a whole nother level of fun. Ronnie, good morning, bud. How are you?
This is absolutely my hottest selling jig right now are these. And I tried to post the link to my Etsy store on YouTube, but YouTube won't let me post it up there. I don't know if some kind of conflict of interest, uh, posting your own page to sell stuff on or not, but I kind of had to get an Etsy store going with some stock jigs on it to just try to take, take a little bit off of my custom orders. But my oldest daughter, she's kind of running the Etsy page and doing all the stock jigs. But if you got Etsy and you're looking for it, it's uh, Eric Massey Jig Company. Should be able to find it that way, I would think. But these are on there. Uh, tons of plastics are on there. Nick Barrett at work running the old jump press. <clears throat> I'll be with work in a little bit. I'll have to look into that. I never, I never even thought about looking uh, someplace like that. I just went and got them off. Uh, I found them on Amazon, and there was another guy on here that ties. Um, and I kind of learned a trick from him, Dennis Steed. So, you know, I can't claim that, you know, this is something I found out on my own. I watched, uh, Dennis Steed had a video out of doing this. So I got to give a big thank you to Dennis for posting that video. Because without that video, I don't know if I ever would have painted eyes on And that paint that I'm using is just regular acrylic paint from Walmart. Like, I think this bottle was like eight ounces for maybe two bucks or something like that. I'm sure any craft store, you went to any kind of craft store, you could probably find a lot better color selection. And, um, you know, if you didn't want to go to Walmart to get it. I'm pretty sure there's other places. Guarantee Hobby Lobby has it. Boom, that's the last bit of red I gotta do. I'm gonna switch over and do some of these black ones. And it don't take much. What I do is I turn the bottle upside down, get just a little bit in the cap, and that's more than what you'll ever, what you'll need. Uh, this one that I'm putting on the blackhead is uh, metallic pearl white. I'm just gonna take that little pin in, dip it in the paint, and just draw a little circle on it. With that round, that round ball on the tip of that, uh, it don't roll like an ink pen. It's fixed, but it just. It seems very easy to make a circle with. What is that? I don't know. It came in with one of these towels. Huh? Came with 
fill her in a garbage can. <laughs> I haven't been to Truman. Uh, from what I've been seeing Cody Vadatin posting, it looks like looks like it's been pretty good. That's another one, too, I haven't mentioned since I've been back on here. Cody Vanatten at Cody's Bait and Tackle in Warsaw does have my jigs there at his shop. And if you're up that way and you stop in his shop to get some of my jigs and you're looking for something else, tell him what you're looking for. He can get a hold of me, and uh, I'll make sure I get them in stock. But don't if you're, if you're up at the Truman Lake area and Warsaw area, go to Cody's. Cody's Bait and Tackle, I can't. That's absolutely the best bait shop at the lake. Lollipop sticks with different size foam punch out glue to the unknown. Yeah, <clears throat> and I've seen people use the little foam uh, pieces to do that. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's kind of tedious no matter how you do it. But I, there's a different look to it. And I'm sure somewhere somebody makes a eye that will stick to a round head. But I don't know if I'd ever do it. I think I'll always keep doing it like this, even if I found one you can glue on. I just kind of like the homemade, handmade, one at a time. Uh, somebody put a little bit of effort into it. Look, if that makes any sense. I love the way they turn out. I just think it's a uh, totally cool, old school look. I get a lot of comments when people say, man, that's dumb doing it like that. I can't believe you're wasting all that time. Um, that's what my customer ordered. That's what he wanted. And he's, you know, he's ordered jigs from me. This will be the third batch he's ordered from me. So, you know, taking care of him... Got me other orders, so I, you know, done something nobody else was going to do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was ready to get the coffee out of my system a little bit. Sonic flavored waters. Anybody ever buy those? The flavored waters at Sonic are. Good. Maybe we can get a sponsorship out of Sonic. I do take pride in my work. It, uh, it means a lot to me when I send jigs out to somebody and I get a message back about, you know, they look good, they look great. Uh, pictures of people with fish that they've caught on my jigs, I love that. I've seen people copy a lot of my jigs. I see a lot of them on Facebook, but I've yet to see anybody else doing this one yet. There'll be a thousand people doing it tomorrow now. I was kind of debated. I know I made a video a while back of uh, doing this. It's on my YouTube channel. Back last summer sometime, I think I did made a video of painting them on and i debated whether or not i wanted to do this again on youtube to actually show giving away my secrets but um i'd rather teach the people that are going to use it you know somebody is looking for a cheaper alternative than stick on eyes and you can do this on any jig head you can do it on pill heads you can do it on minnow heads you can do it on the texas minnows
and it's a whole lot cheaper than the stick on eyes. Sometimes it's almost easier than the stick on eyes. There's been days I've fought those things. <clears throat> Wapalo, Iowa. Steve Wapalo. Man, I used to live up there pretty close. I used to live in Eddyville. I think we're talking about the same Wapalo. We talking about the Wapalo that's between uh, Bloomfield and the Tumble? Speaking of that, I had a guy call me from Waterloo, Iowa the other day, and I meant to call him back, and I have not called that man back yet. Yeah, when I tie these up, Ronnie, I'm going to UV resin coat the neck and the head. And again, that's one of those things where you know, you could also use the Sally Hints as hard as nails and coat over top of it. You wouldn't really have to use the UV resin if you didn't want to. But if you got a light set up and you're using the UV resin, yeah, uh, put the UV resin on them. But you can do uh, the Sally Hints as hard as nails. Actually, I might run a test on that. I might fish with some with the Sally Hints as hard as nails on the heads and necks versus the UV resin on the heads and necks. Give it a shot. Try both ways. See what happens if you're if you're running the UV lights. I absolutely love how that turns out. Got some ordered. The UV light and UV resin. And this paint that is on these heads is Protex uh, Matte Black. No, it wasn't. I think this was Harbor Freight's. I bought a thing of black paint from Harbor Freight when I first started painting and realized that it was way too thick to do what I do with it. Aaron has... Well, I'm not sure where that is, and I thought I knew where Wapapello, where that was. i got to read that again. We are about 30 minutes south of Muscatine and about an hour and a half east of Eddyville. Yeah, I thought maybe, I thought that was part of Lake, uh, Lake Wapalo. It's been a long time since I lived up there. Biggest bass I ever caught come out of Lake Wapalo. I used to fish Rathbun a lot. Lake Rathbun, Lake Miami. Red Rock a couple times, but Rathbun was my favorite. Lake Miami was my second. I used to bass fish a lot, man. I used to catch a ton of bass at Lake Miami. Just west of Eddyville, or west of Albia. <laughs> Little bitty electric motor lake. It was a fun lake to fish. Only lake I've ever ice fish on.
couldn't take the winters up there. Had to move back down south. Man, it gets cold up there. Gets so cold in Iowa. And so hot in the summertime. Had it both, man. You guys live up there in Iowa. Hats off to you. I salute you. Anybody got any questions on this where I get my supplies or anything? Y'all just ask away and please don't forget to hit that like. Uh, that thumbs up button helps you two keeping my stuff moving. It's tedious. So I'm not seeing all the comments come up. I'm tied with Buffalo. Tied one with Buffalo hair, my very first one. I've tied some out of hair off my dog. I've tied them with uh, turkey feathers I found in the woods. I even picked dead hair off a picked hair off a dead deer on the side of the road one time. And that's the truth. I stopped on the side of the road and started pulling. Pulling belly hair off of it, put it in a little Ziploc bag I had in the truck. I got two more of these to do, and I'm probably going to end this live feed today. Uh, I got to get some other ones going. I got to get some done for an order, some 132nd ones. I put the eyes in before I came on live. On the Iowa River, not far from Mississippi. I don't think I'd ever been on the Iowa River. I'd been on the Skunk River, the Des Moines River. And if you live up that way, if you've never been white bass fishing at, in a tumble on the Des Moines River, man, that is an absolute blast. Get on that catwalk. Kill the white bass up there and a good walleyes every once in a while too. What type of marabou do I prefer? I prefer blood quill marabou. I won't buy it unless it says blood quill marabou. If you're tying really, really super small jigs, you can get away with the woolly booger marabou. But the uh, blood quill to me is absolutely my favorite. I like the long stems on the ends of it. And you could probably make that work with the uh, woolly booger marabou on really small jigs. But when I'm tying sixteenths, eighths, and quarters and stuff like that, I want the blood quill marabou. I can make that marabou last a whole lot longer than I can the woolly booger. Boom. Man, that's 85 of those I've done this morning. 85. Yeah, definitely, definitely blood quill marabou. If these other ones are done, I might start getting up with you guys at the time on YouTube. Yeah. No, I did usually I'm gonna I thought I'd be able to get those painted, but they're still a bit tacky. It's kind of hit or miss in the mornings on when I get on. It kind of depends on how late I work, what time I get up, and all that. Uh, it's always gonna be somewhere around between 10 and 11. It's always going to be sometime around 10 or 11, 10 30 to 11 o'clock, something like that. Um, but y'all start throwing out ideas on, you know, I get a, I've got a lot of ideas on what people want to see. Um, I've got this batch of heads and eyes painted. So tomorrow, for instance, maybe we can uh, tie something. If I get it, you know, enough people that say they want to see something. I know I've had requests on how to stack. My hackle feathers, how to tie hackle feathers in without them spinning and turning. 
and I've had a lot of requests on tying bucktail jigs also. So if there's one in particular everybody wants to watch, y'all let me know and I will make sure that happens. But I'm going to call it done. I'm going to start getting some of these tied up and heated up, see if I can't get them to cure a little bit faster. But uh, look for me to be back on tomorrow. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe bell thingy up at the top, let you know when I'm back on. And please don't forget to hit the like. I can't stress that enough. That helps YouTube know people are watching my videos and it kind of pushes the algorithm up to where it starts showing up a little bit more. I don't, I'm not getting any money off y'all hitting the like button. It just kind of helps keep my algorithm going. But for that, I'm going to get off here today. Hope we'll see y'all tomorrow. Start commenting. Let me know what you want to see me tie tomorrow. Um, I'm up for it.